It's been nearly 17 years since the Montreal Expos last played a game in Major League Baseball. And in those 17 years, there have been whispers, there have been rumors, that eventually maybe the franchise would make a comeback. Now, whether that be through the form of expansion or relocation of a current team, we really don't know for sure until it ever happens. But with the new stadium creator feature in MLB The Show, I thought, wouldn't it be fun if it happened now? So that's exactly what we're doing. In this fantasy franchise world, the Tampa Bay Rays are bought by none other than Jeff Bay who's not a big fan of the Tampa Bay area or St. Petersburg, so he decides to bring back the Montreal Expos. Why he decides to do this, it's not entirely clear, but since he's basically the Lex Luthor of real life, no one questions it. And with the comeback of the franchise, Bezos is also bringing back the classic red, white, and blue home uniforms, which are still very nice on the eyes, along with the classic baby blue powder road uniforms. On top of this, a brand new stadium opened in Montreal. Don't ask how they managed to finish it in one offseason, it just happened because Jeff Bezos said so. And in record time, the new franchise is set up, and ready to play some baseball. Now, of course, since it's a Tampa Bay Rays and it was kind of a last minute sale, the team is pretty much the same as it is in real life. And it's a solid team as well. They just went to the World Series in 2020, but now going forward in the future, they're gonna have a lot more room to work, a lot more money to spend, and the trajectory of the Montreal Expos is gonna be very different to the one of the Tampa Bay Rays. But it's still a very good base to work with. So with all that said and done, we're gonna go ahead and pick things up an opening day down in Miami where the Expos are playing their first Major League Baseball game since 2004, and expectations are high, and Canadians everywhere are very excited. Also, the ballpark is full in this universe because Jeff Bezos also cured COVID, eradicated it off the planet, so it's not an issue anymore. So starting for the Miami Marlins is Pablo Lopez, who had a very solid 2020 season, and leading off for the Montreal Expos will be Joey Wendell, and in the first at-bat of the season, he hits a pop-up, shallow left, and it is hauled in by the shortstop, and just like that, the season is underway. What a way to start. Not exciting. Willie Adamas, the second batter, though, dunks one into right field for a base hit, and that is the Expos' first hit in almost two decades. You'll love to see it. And with two outs in the top of the first, Randy Arozarena pops one right back up to the pitcher, and Lopez takes it himself for out number three. So the first half inning of Expos baseball doesn't go the way they wanted it to, so we move to the bottom of the first. Where Tyler Glass now is pitching to John Barty, first batter of the game for the Marlins, and he pops one to center field, and right under it is the center fielder for out number one. Next up, Miguel Rojas, 3-2 count, swings and misses on the high fastball for two outs in the first inning. Tyler Glass now is coming in with the heat early, and then the very next batter, Corey Dickerson, 3-2 count, pulls one over to first base, and that is an easy out number three for a 1-2-3 first inning for the Montreal Expos. And the franchise is officially back. Top of the second, men on first and second, G-Man Choi up, grounds one to the first baseman for a 3-6-3 double play. Absolutely killing that rally right there. And then the next batter, Mike Zunino with a full count, swings and misses at a fastball on the outside part of the plate leaving a man on third base. Now leading off the bottom of the second, Jesus Aguilar smacks a fastball into left field for the Marlins' first base runner of the game. Hopefully Glass now can keep it right there, keep things under control. But the very next batter, Brian Anderson, smacks one in the left field for another base hit. So now with one out, the Marlins have men on first and second, and that brings up Adam Duvall, who gets a hanging breaking ball, hits it deep to left field, and that one's gonna end up being off the wall. It's hauled in quickly, so only one run scores, but the Marlins have men on first and second with only one out. A big hit for Adam Duvall right there, and not the ideal way to start the game if you're the Montreal Expos. That's not what you want. And after a walk, Pablo Lopez is up the pitcher, and he stares a curveball right down the middle for strike three. A big second out for Tyler Glass now, and then John Barty, one-two count, Pops one right to G-Man Joy, and that is going to get Glass now out of the inning with only one run allowed. So a great job of pitching out of trouble and keeping things right there. Next up, bottom of the third, Jesus Aguilar causing more trouble. Gets a fastball on the inside part and smacks it deep to left, but it's hauled in. What a catch by Brandon Lau. You'll see on the replay, he crashes hard into the wall right there, taking away extra bases from Jesus Aguilar and stopping even more trouble for the Expos pitcher. Next up, bottom of the fourth inning, Austin Meadows up, and Austin Meadows is out of here. A deep fly ball to right field that lands in the upper deck in Miami. An absolute bomb by the right fielder, 380 feet, 107 miles per hour, 
and that ties the game up at one apiece. So the Expos strike back very quickly, showing they're not playing any games, and that is the first run they have scored in a very long time. You could see on the replay, a changeup that just sat up there, and Meadows got all of it. He knew it right away, and I think the entire stadium knew right away. The show cast you see is an absolute bomb, a no-doubt shot. And then in the bottom of the fourth inning, Adam Duvall up again, strikes out with the man on first. Glass now has settled in quite a bit. That's his fourth strikeout. And then the next batter, one-two count. Swing and a miss, strike three, sit him down. Top of the fifth, Mike Zunino trying to get something going. Expos have a runner on first, but not for long as he grounds into a double play. And both pitchers are starting to get into a rhythm here. We switch back to Glass now in the bottom of the fifth, where he walks Miguel Rojas with two outs. Not what you want to do there. Then he's facing Corey Dickerson, who smacks one in the left center field, and it gets down in the gap and rolls all the way to the wall out there. That is a long way in Miami and a run is going to score easily. Rojas gets in there. It's an RBI double for Dickerson, and Miami retakes the lead. 2-1. to one. But Glass now would avoid further trouble. A 2-2 count to Aguilar, and he swings and misses at an outside slider, ending it right there. Now, leading off the top of the sixth is Joey Wendell, and the not-usually-power hitter swings and hits one deep to right center, and that one gets out by quite a bit. A really nice shot by Joey Wendell. 409 feet and 104 miles per hour ties the game right back up at two so the expos answer right back tie the game again and we are back where we started and they're going to try and keep that momentum going and take a lead here and they have another chance to score here austin meadows with the man on second punches one through the hole between first and second but the runner does not try to score he's held up at third and it's still tied. Next batter is Mike Brousseau with a 3-1 count, and he hits one high in the air to right field, but not quite deep enough. It's caught, and the Expos do not score any more runs. Bottom of the sixth inning, 2-2 count to Duvall. Glass now gets him to ground a short. Adames in the hole makes a really nice throw to get him out, and he keeps on rolling along there. Next up, top of the seventh. Man on second, 1-2 count to Wendell, and he grounds it to the second baseman, leaving another runner in scoring position. Both teams cannot get anything going right now. And in the top of the eighth with a man in scoring position again, a Rosarena strikes out, tries to check his swing, has no luck there. And then the next batter, Yandy Diaz, pinch hitting, swings and misses at a splitter down below, and they leave another man in scoring position, unable to bring that run in and it's not looking too hot right now but they do have one of the better relievers in all of baseball nick anderson who had a phenomenal 2020 coming into the game and trying to keep things knotted at two so the first battery faces miguel rojas swinging a miss see you later sits him down on strikes Corey dickerson next batter gets a curveball and bounces it to second base for out number two another easy one for nick anderson no complaints there. And then the third batter of the inning, Aguilar, gets a fastball on a 2-1 count, bounces it to first, and Choi throws it back to the pitcher for out number three. So just what the Expos needed, but now they have to get a run in the top of the ninth. Here's Brousseau leading off, takes a 3-2 fastball outside for a walk. Pretty good start to the inning. G-Man Choi up with a 2-1 count, skies one deep to center field, not nearly deep enough. It's hauled in for an easy out number one. Now here's Mike Zunino, 2-2 count, bounces one out in front of the plate. They're going to go ahead and take the out at first. So once again, the Expos have a man in scoring position. So can they bring him in? Manny Margot up now with a 1-1 count, and he hits one high in the air to center field. That one is going to go deep, but it is tracked down out there all the way at the wall. So the Expos cannot score again, leaving the game still 2-2. Bottom of the ninth, leadoff batter Starling Marte pops one to first base. G-Man Choi right under it makes an easy catch for out number one. Next batter, Brian Anderson, 2-2 count. Swing and a miss on the curveball. Drop third strike. They throw to first for an easy out number two. And the Expos are one out away from pushing this to extra innings. But the next batter, Adam Duvall, has other ideas as he hits a fastball deep to left field. And it is a no out walk off bomb. With two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning, Adam Duvall hits a solo shot, walking off on opening day against the Montreal Expos. Not exactly how you want to start your first season back in baseball after almost 20 years. Nick Anderson gets the loss, but of course, it's still very early in the season. One game out of 162 won't break you, and hopefully this isn't an indicator of things to come, 
the team really struggled with men on base today and this is just the cherry on top that's what happens when you don't get guys in and that's a really nice walk-off shot by adam duvall to win it for miami right there well guys that's all i have for you today if you want to see another episode of this let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content i got a lot of stuff on the way hopefully you guys will like it and as always thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all the love and support i get and uh that's it guys thank you so much stay safe out there peace